So the entropy balance is important because entropy sets the limits. Uh, we might ask ourselves, what is the least work into something like a pump or a compressor? Or we could say, what is the most work out of something like a turbine? And we can't answer those questions without entropy. And these are places where common sense fails us, because common sense wants us to say that, well, of course the most work we could get out of a turbine is equal to um, all of the heat we've put into heating the steam that's going to go into the turbine. Or um, the least work we put into a pump is exactly equal to the uh, change we want to get out of that pump in terms of energy. And the fact is, no, entropy makes that impossible. So the best we could do is always a reversible system. And to figure out what happens in a reversible system, we need to, uh, an energy balance just by itself doesn't know anything about that really, so we need to also apply the entropy balance. And um, in a thing like the heat exchanger, you can probably go by gut feel and say, well, uh, we can't cool the hot stream any more than the lowest temperature, the cold stream. Like you can you can make that sort of judgment off the top of your head, but if something, if what we're trying to do is figure out how much work we could possibly get out of this turbine, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that just off the top of our heads. So, let's try that right now. I'm going to ask you for the most work we could possibly get out of this turbine, and we're going to use some steam. So we have steam coming in at 8 megapascals and 500 degrees C, and it's going to leave at 1 megapascal. And our question is, what is T out? And, and also, let's figure out what is the maximum work out we could get here. So what is the biggest WS we could get? Now, I just said something really important there, because if I said, what is the biggest WS, that means we're going to work this problem assuming this is reversible. And we don't need to freak out about not having enough information, because this is, in fact, all the information we're going to need. So let's, together, um, I'm going to hit pause, and I want you to think. You hit pause, too. And write down what you think the energy balance is for this, and what the entropy balance is for this. Um, making appropriate assumptions. Then I'm going to write it down too. Okay? Hit pause. Okay, I hope you hit pause. Here's our energy and entropy balances, and let's simplify them a little. On the energy side, we said turbines, unless we uh, are told differently, we usually assume they're adiabatic. So I'm going to ditch the Q. And then that's all I can ditch there. And then on the entropy side, well, since I've already ditched the Q in energy, it's got to be gone here as well. And since we are looking for the maximum work we could possibly get, we are going to assume this is reversible. Now, it's not really reversible. Turbines aren't really reversible. But we're going to pretend in order to see what the maximum work we could get out is. So I'm going to set that to zero. So what we are left with here is delta H equals WS and delta S equals zero. Um, or another way to say that, which might be simpler, is S in has got to equal S out. Okay, so now we know what we need to know to solve this problem. I'm going to say it out loud here, and I know this is going to drive you nuts, but I'm going to say it, and then I want you to go dig out the steam tables and figure it out. So um, we're using the steam tables, and uh, to be able to answer this problem, to find T out, and also WS, uh, to get that WS, we're going to have to figure out delta H. Well, we can't get delta H until we know uh, what the conditions are on the outlet side. And so we're kind of stuck there. We can figure out H in, but we can't get H out. So now what do we do next? Well, what we've got to do next is use the fact that S in equals S out. We can go into the steam tables, look up entropy 
on the, at 8 megapascals in 500C. And then we know S out has got to be the same value. And we know S out has to happen at 1 megapascal. So we can go on a scavenger hunt through the steam tables and find what temperature, what conditions at which uh, the pressure is 1.0 megapascal and entropy is equal to the same value we found for 8 and 500. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. And then when you do that, you will know what T out is, and you will be able to look on the steam tables and figure out what H out is, and you'll be able to get delta H. Now, I'm going to stop there. This is the number I want you to go work out uh, for yourself and then tell me about on our next mini quiz. Okay? Thanks for listening. Oh, and there'll be one more example that's a little bit more complicated, and I'll uh, pose it to you in the next video. Thanks.